What's up, everybody? Josh from EverydayFBA.com. Deep inside some tactical arbitrage. We're doing a little OA deal analysis. We're coming across these products and we're looking at all the numbers to make sure it's a profitable product to sell on Amazon. But what I'm noticing right now is I'm coming across a lot of variations. So I thought I would take a quick minute to discuss variations and show you two ways that you can pinpoint which variation is actually selling so you don't waste your money on products that will never sell. So variations can be a huge pain for your business, especially if you are a brand new beginner to Amazon FBA. You might even be avoiding those listings and those products that have different variations just because you're worried about and not sure of which one is actually selling. So what we're going to do in this video is show you two different ways to do it. Now you will need two different pieces of software. You can choose either one or, or you definitely should have both of these anyways. If you're doing online arbitrage or retail arbitrage, you should already have these true two Chrome extensions. Okay. That is rev seller. We're going to look at how to look at variations with rev seller and also Keepa. We're going to look at how to do it with Keepa as well. So make sure that you have those two Chrome extensions. I, I have full faith that if you're doing online arbitrage, you probably already have these and if not definitely go in the description check out those links and grab those extensions because they will help your business 1000% let's get this variation party started I picked a random product here on tactical arbitrage and look it has what you know variations but it's hard to see which one is actually selling so if you have keep it which you should have right you're just gonna scroll down and you usually will just look at this history graph you're like oh this product sells a lot but the issue is is that this keep a graph that you're seeing right here is shared with every other variation that is on this listing so it's kind of hard just by looking at this as it is to figure out which one is actually selling and that is why you have to look deeper since we're looking at keeper right now i'll go ahead and show you how to do it in keeper now keeper does have that variations tab but in my opinion just clicking on this variations tab really doesn't do you any good yeah sure it gives you a list of all the different variations of this product the different types the different packs all that good stuff but it really just not give you any legitimate data that tells you how often this product is selling what you need to do is click on this the open in product viewer now when you do that it's going to open up in the actual keep a site and pull up all that data for you this is where you can make buying decisions so now you have all those different rank information you got current ranks you got 90 day averages and you have the drops you can use any piece of the information that they have for you to pinpoint which product is actually selling faster than the others and you can see a lot of this stuff is pretty close together they're looking like they sell kind of similar 51 55 348 378 the ranks are kind of similar the drops are pretty similar but i like to look at the drops within the last 90 days that is how many times has the sales rank dropped which would indicate a sell within 90 days the higher the better means it sells more so i like to kind of scroll through here and just look at the numbers okay we got 189 here we got 201 there okay can anybody beat 201 223 there 259 right here that is probably the clear winner it's probably not anymore 250 that's pretty close there all right, so let's just go back up to that 259. So this product, Uncle Ben's Ready Rice Whole Grain Brown 12 pack has a sales rank of 378 or an average of 349, 88 drops in the last 30 days and 259 drops in the last 90 days. Now this is higher than any other product currently being listed here. So it's definitely a good idea to sell this one. If we go down, remember that one, okay? Whole grain brown rice. Cause we're gonna double check this again with RevSeller. We're gonna use RevSeller to kind of verify this information and back up our uh, estimation or hypothesis of which product is actually selling more. So keep that in mind. Remember that Uncle Ben's Ready Rice whole grain brown 12 pack. Now let's look at the other one that is selling really quickly. 250, okay, Uncle Ben's Ready Rice 12 pack jasmine this time okay so those two we got jasmine 12 pack and we have the whole grain brown 12 pack okay now let's use rev seller to back up and verify this information so we're back here on the listing page this is rev seller right here this area right here but it also has a variations tab you just have to scroll down a little bit if the product does in fact have variations you will see this little green button around that variation selection so you just click that and it opens up a lot of other data for you what it's doing is it's combing through all the feedback that is available and pulling those results for you to give you a guesstimation what product is selling 
So with RevSeller, we're actually looking at reviews, okay? And with Amazon, not a lot of people will leave reviews for the product. So you could think that if it has a decent amount of reviews on the listing, imagine how many times that product has actually sold. I mean, one out of 20 people probably leave a review. It's probably even larger than that. So you can kind of have that thinking. People don't really leave reviews on Amazon that much. So right down here is the information that Rev Seller gives you. You can right off the bat, you can see 8.5 ounce pack of 12, 8.8 .8 ounce pack of 12. Those are the ones that have the most reviews. So it definitely makes more sense to sell this item in a 12 pack versus the six pack that you could also do. But we're going to do the 12 pack. Why? Because they have the most reviews. That is the one that people are buying the most. Now you can hit this little plus sign and it's going to break down even more further those reviews or you can go by flavor as well. So if it has different kinds of reviews, whether it's a flavor, whether it's a pack size, whether it's a uh, you know shirt size, you know small, medium, large, whatever, if it has different kind of variations, it's gonna break down every kind of variation that that product has. And like I said, the plus line here, we can go ahead and click on that, and it's gonna dial it down even deeper. So boom, now we see that Jasmine, eight and a half ounce, pack of 12, 24 reviews. This is the clear winner. This is the one that we should sell on if we want to see that fast sales history. And remember what we said, Jasmine, right? Eight and a half ounce, right? We said Jasmine. Let's scroll down here. So here it is. Uncle Ben's Jasmine Rice 12 pack, eight and a half ounce. You can see that these two pieces of software, these two Chrome extensions, although different, kind of help work together to make you a better educated decision on which product you actually want to buy, which product you actually want to try to sell on Amazon, right? You have to look at the sales rank data, the sales rank drops with Keepa, and then verify that information with the feedback uh, variation viewer with Rev Seller. These two pieces of equipment are priceless. I encourage you all, if you do not have Keepa and you do not have Rev Seller, please look in the description and use my links because I would greatly appreciate it. They support the channel, but use my links to go ahead and grab those now if you're serious about doing online arbitrage. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. It's as simple as that. No more mistakes with variations. No more leaving products behind because you don't want to deal with those variations. Go and attack these kinds of products and make more money on Amazon. Stop leaving that profit behind. My name is Josh. EverydayFBA.com is my website, and I'll catch you on that next one. If you are a brand new Amazon FBA seller or you want to learn how to start selling on Amazon FBA, you want to get into selling used media, books, CDs, DVDs, you want to start doing some retail arbitrage, some online arbitrage. If you want to learn more about all this awesome stuff and how you can make money on Amazon and make money online in general, look in the description. There's going to be a ton of links to help you get started. There's going to be some free resources, some free trainings, and also some other paid stuff, some good softwares, some good tools, everything that I use to run my Amazon FBA business. If you are a new seller, you want to know where to start, look in the description, check out those links.